Hey, what's up, guys? Charlie Gallon back with a video. Today, I want to talk about Warner Brothers there and why I think Warner Brothers is uh, going downhill. Mostly, Warner Brothers has been going downhill ever since uh, AT and T technically bought them out. So when when t AT and T technically bought Warner Brothers there, or Warner Media there, Warner, yeah, technically Warner Media there and stuff like that. Um, they've been going downhill ever since there. They've not been showing some like really good programming there. They've been showing a lot of fucking bullshit programming when Tenley Warner Brando Tenley bought them out. <clears throat> they've been really fucking up on the uh, Batman, mostly in the movies. In the movies there, they've been fucking them up there, and it's not been that great there and stuff like that. So Tenley Warner, we all know about AT and T Tenley selling. Warner Brothers because they theirs is not the fit. AT and T was not technically a fit for Warner Brothers there, so technically Discovery technically bought them out. It, and this is like what like their six bought out there. The the company has been bought out like six fucking ass times. So yeah, it's not doesn't look that great for for uh, Warner Brothers there now. Discovery technically has the rights for Warner Brothers and any IP Warner Brothers actually has and stuff like that for it. So they've not been doing that pretty well for the last couple of years, even when team AT and T technically bought them. Uh, technically, when AT and T was still the holder of Warner Brothers there, and theirs has not been doing that great. We'll see what actually what uh, happened with this merger with the Discovery there, because Discovery is not doing too much. Honestly, Discovery is not really doing too much there. They're technically letting Warner Brothers to actually run the show there. They're like, okay, Warner Brothers, you can actually run the show. We're just going to step back. That's what Discovery is actually fucking doing right now. Discovery is technically just like saying, oh, we can just let Warner Brothers run the show. And we're just going to we're just gonna step back. In my opinion, I think Discovery needs to step in a little bit more and just take charge because they're not – like Warner Brothers, there they don't they're not fucking they don't know what they're fucking doing here because uh, they've been having some stuff there or technically anti-consumer because they're just like letting them do what the fuck they want in a way. Um, mostly a uh, discovery. You need to step in. You need to step in and tell them what to do because if you don't there and you're letting them do what the fuck they want there, they're just gonna make really bad profits for you. <laughs> for you and stuff like that and you might have to get rid of them and that's going to be what the seventh buy uh Warner Brothers is going to go through because right now this is the sixth buy there if when they technically got bought by uh, Discovery there but they have to do something that's that's what I'm going to say about Discovery but um yeah um but we'll also mostly get to the the top of the hand, it's mostly for Warner Brothers, <clears throat> why they're doing so poorly. It's because they're not doing it right there. They've been messing up on the movies of assets there. Some of the DC movies there, they actually have coming out and stuff like that. The Batgirl woman has been canceled by Warner Brothers there. Warner Brothers technically canceled the Batgirl movie there. And technically, I guess it's okay if the Batgirl movie has been canceled there because honestly uh she should have had uh, she should have appeared in a batman movie not just a batgirl movie and just have her own solo movie there i think that was okay to actually cancel it so i guess you can get one point up to warner brothers but they've been doing anti-consumer stuff mostly there they like on adult swim there they canceled some shows there from from this merger there um Making all the making all their IPs look like garbage, technically. Um, mostly, why I'm saying about their IPs looking like garbage because of all this stuff there. Mostly, all this stuff there. They're canceling Adult Swim shows there, like the, they canceled w Laser Wolf. They canceled. Uh, uh, I guess the name is called uh, that Maid show was on Adult Swim. They canceled that. And they canceled, um, I think, the Ari Arbery show. So I think they canceled all three of those things there. Uh, so, like, um, <clears throat> the only ones they actually have is, like, technically Primal, Rick and Morty, and Robot Chicken. 
those are the three IPs they fucking have on Adult Swim. And then also on Cartoon Network side, it's not even, it's pretty worse on their side. They've been, been showing nothing but fucking crap for the last couple years there. And plus, they've been having reboots on fucking Cartoon Network also. It's our fucking fails. Even at what they're going to, like, fucking reboot that fucking, like, little kid show. Uh, that, that kid show there. Uh, it was kind of like Looney Tunes, but it's mostly, like, the tiny version of it. I guess that, um, I guess they're going to fucking cancel all that shit there. Uh, not cancel that thing. They're going to have a reboot on that. But my opinion, I think it's kind of disgusting what they're doing with the uh, with the fucking main characters there, put them as siblings there, except put them um, together like in the original series. The original series, they actually had them together there, not the siblings. So that's the reason why it's bad right there. Um, I think that's kind of disgusting there. They, they, they kind of did that. Um, but I guess whatever, I guess whatever you want to do, that's, that's your choice. If you want your kids to watch it, that's fine. But... Mostly, uh, I'm. <laughs> I am definitely not gonna let my. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna let my. Uh, if I had kids there, I should not honestly not should not make them watch it there. I'm make them watch the original series, not the, uh, not the uh, fucking uh, reboot there and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the other thing, Warner Brothers. That you kind of you kind of suck at on that <laughs> there. So. That's the only reason why Warner Brothers is technically failing there and stuff like that. What else they also had? Oh yeah, the the video game. The the video games they just launched there has a character delayed. Really? A character was fucking delayed there. Uh why? Why a character got delayed? What 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 character got fucking delayed? I don't even know. What was the Rick and Morty character got delayed? There? Cause that cause I've been hearing some rumors saying they were going to be in the fucking game for the multi uh, multiverse game. They had the multiverse game there. Yeah, they were going to be in that fucking game there. So Rick and Morty got delayed. Possibly it might be Rick and Morty um, and stuff like that. But we don't even know what, what character got delayed there because they didn't say what character got delayed for the multiverse there. So we don't know. Yeah, but that's just my uh, spill on uh, Warner Brothers there. What do you guys think about Warner Brothers? Uh, comment, rate, and respond to its videos. We like web movies. We subscribe. Hit the bell in case you want to see our uploads. Comment, respond to its videos. We like how we go. Add a piece.